Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on June 17th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your world update, including space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun as we are witnessing an X-class solar flare, X1.27 to be exact, from sunspot region 4114. As forecasted and warned earlier this morning with my son short giving you daily updates hope you're enjoying the shorts full update today thank you so much for tuning in amazing images here of a couple strong solar flares x1.27 and as well a strong m-class solar flare shortly thereafter from the sunspot region neighboring it now this is a very complex sunspot region please just be aware and prepared. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. It's all about being aware to the space weather effects that we are bombarded, bombarded with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every time we go around the sun, 365 days a year. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide, this is showing the last three hours of imagery as I already had half the video made. And now we're getting all these new images of the X-class solar flare and as well a big plasma filament. Bottom right-hand corner of the sun, plasma filament taking off and a plasma burst shooting away. Amazing images. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Again, we are close to 90,000 followers worldwide. If you want to see these daily updates, please get in the comments section. We need to get 1,000 likes on this video. Do you think we could do that? Much love, everybody. Almost 89,000 followers worldwide. I think we can get 1,000 likes. Another close view of the X-Class Solar Flare and the Plasma Shot. As it's been a very interesting 24 hours around the world, we've got Mercury coming in close and into play. Big geopolitical moves happening around the world. And our sun going through solar cycle 25, one of pretty strong solar cycles so far. A lot of earth facing events and coronal holes. This is showing the last 48 hours of imagery here pointing out plasma filaments and the active regions last 48 hours incoming a little plasma swirl on the right hand side lots of space weather imagery today thank you so much for tuning in active sunspot region you can see firing away active sunspot region turning away as well plasma filament smashing back into the Wow. Pretty dynamic imagery here. Give a big old thumbs up if you're enjoying the images shared. 171 angstroms here pointing out coronal holes and the last 48 hours of events and as well the magnetic field during the coronal hole earth facing events. The magnetic field of our sun bottom left hand corner big coronal hole in the southern hemisphere earth facing solar winds are coming in well over 500 kilometers per second right now and that is expected to continue over the next 24 hours level three radio blackouts expected from the x-class solar flare one more amazing image of our sun today which I love, and this is why I started this channel. Love being able to witness and be a part of all the information shared here. 4114 just produced. X1.27 solar flare. Another one turning into view. Current space weather conditions. Level 3, strong radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds coming in 505 kilometers per second as we speak. Solar X-ray flux showing minor m class and as well strong x class so that's three m class solar flares the past two days geomagnetic activity hyping up to a three 
Here's a look at the most recent CME models. Plasma filament eruption may go underneath Earth, 19th into the 20th, minor geomagnetic instability. And then we're expecting solar winds. Bottom graph showing the solar wind speeds that are expected to penetrate Earth's magnetosphere. Dark reds being solar wind speeds well over 600 kilometers per second. Just to let you know, average solar wind speeds are about 250 to 300 kilometers per second. Here's a look at LASCO-3 showing Mercury coming into a play. And as well, all of the CMEs since the 14th going into the 17th. Plasma filaments. Most of the coronal mass ejection players right now. But that's quite the whip and whirl of plasma. Luckily, that was not Earth-facing. Amazing times to be alive. Grateful to have you aboard. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. We're going to start out here with the deepest 4.4 earthquake, 514 kilometer depth earthquake, Fiji, Kermadex. Lots of action all across Indonesia as there was a large eruption at the Luatobi volcano overnight. 4.8 or 4.6 earthquake there, very close to the eruption. As well notable, Barcelona, Philippines, 5.3. Earthquakes right up the ring of fire into Alaska. And then you get into a quiet zone across the North American plate. Nothing major to report. Notable Nebraska earthquake 2.6. Other than that, no swarms. Nothing major to report. Quiet through the Central Americas. Quiet through South America as well. 5.0 earthquake here, South Sandwich Islands. And as well a 5.0 South Mid-Atlantic towards Easter Island. 4.6 earthquake, Greece, that's west of the most recent earthquake swarm. Also notable earthquake here, 4.2 earthquake, Iran. We all know what's going on over there. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide. Prayers for humanity. Thank you again for pressing play and being a part of this community and channel. Here's a browse of the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Spiking in minor seismicity all across the Ring of Fire, Eastern Ring of Fire. Way too quiet. Africa up into Iceland. Actually, the African plate is just way too quiet right now. It's a little bit freaky. Largest earthquake the past seven days being a 5.4 up in Russia. Or sorry, 6.1 in Russia, Eastern Russia. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes around the world and as well wildfires that are burning across Alberta still and as well parts of Northwest Territories. Big plume coming out of Central Africa and as well through Indonesia, large eruption at the Luatobi volcano, Eastern Indonesia. Other than that, no new eruptions to talk about. We're definitely going to have to get into a volcano activity report here soon. As there is a lot of induction of sulfur dioxide emissions around the world. And it is increasing. So, stay tuned, as that will be coming soon. Let's have a look at world weather. Extreme weather event for the United States and Canada. Mostly eastern Ontario, as this low is going to be encroaching. Starting overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Severe weather event, tornado action, very strong winds, heavy hail, and just some very wild weather. And this is going to carry on for about two days. Thursday, making landfall into parts of northern and eastern Ontario. And then, yeah, long-range forecast. We might even see a tropical system developing for the Atlantic seaboard. More south and eastern towards Florida. Having a look at these models, no major hurricanes developing, but some strong systems racing across the United States. Thanks to the Santa Ana winds, that big high pressure ridge has finally breaking down, but very strong winds will be coming with it. Possible cyclone here in the long range for parts of the Eastern Pacific. And then look at that 
eastern seaboard, Florida, and northward, we could see something strong. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia, lots of low pressure systems grinding through India, parts of Thailand, and China. Monsoon rain season is upon them, but we could see some typhoons racing towards Japan in the long range, quite possibly even Korea's. But nonetheless, possible flood conditions for parts of eastern India and Thailand. Going to leave you here looking at the North Pacific. High pressure ridge breaking down for a few days. Low pressure system encroaches. Heads northward towards Alaska. And then again, high pressure ridge dominates. Hopefully we have no more eruptions at Kilauea. It's a lot of heat induction into the Central Pacific. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.